It's time now for a look at the latest in local news. In the news, the Wayne County Board of Education met Tuesday afternoon for a work session. Interim School Superintendent Ms. Collins gave the Capital Outlay Project update. She says they had a walkthrough at James E. Bacon. She reports that they're working on the closeout documents, and hopefully that project will be soon completed. Ms. Collins stated hopefully sooner than later. Board member Sharon Daniel, however, says that the softball field at the school was simply not right. She says the field's not level at all. She also says she doesn't like the fact that the water to the field is located directly behind home plate. She says that's not a good place for it. As far as the Ag Facility in ROTC, she says she needs some guidance from the board on how to move forward. Ms. Collins asked how soon the process does the board want their advisory committee involved. Both Carrie Yarbrough and Todd Wise said the sooner the better. Each board member will have an appointment to the advisory committee, but several board members stated that they are still talking to some people and not ready to make their selections. Ms. Collins says she'll work on a manual with guidelines and regulations for the advisory committee. They did stress that anyone who plans to bid on the projects cannot be on the advisory committee. They stated Tuesday they hope to have their advisory committee in place very soon. The board voted to move their December 10th meeting to December 3rd, not to conflict with the GSBA conference. Personnel always part of the agenda after executive session following personnel recommendations were approved by the board of education certified resignations sabrina richardson martha bucket middle school classified recommendations paul bean maintenance gregory coleman transportation and diana romo central office classified resignations all from james e bacon tammy cash sfs madison Kaysen, james e bacon and zachary Kaysen, james e bacon we'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor the commercial messages so please stay tuned the Wayne County Commissioners met Monday. They've appointed three people who will make up the county election board. Those three people are Josh Griffin, Iman Johnson, and Dawson Trapnell. The appointments made at the County Commissioner's September monthly meeting. Those three people will select an election superintendent, and the superintendent will select an assistant. Commissioner Jamie Hickok satisfied with the three selections, but not happy that each commissioner was not able to make a selection to the committee. She suggested Monday evening the board be made up of five people, not three. It was first suggested to be a seven-member board, but again, that was voted down by the county commissioners earlier this year. Other news from the commissioners meeting on Monday, James Thomas submitted the three names to be considered for the District 4 Hospital Authority representative. Those three names are Melissa Thomas, Lorraine Jackson, and Vanita Walker. Again, to replace the appointment of Carlitha Davis, who passed away. Thomas also recommended Shelton Burke to be appointed to the Solid Waste Authority Board. Again, he will fulfill the term of his grandfather, Felton Burke. County will soon have to have a call meeting to determine how Wayne County proceeds and pays for juvenile court in Wayne County. District Attorney Keith Higgins has sent a letter to all five counties in the circuit stating that his office will no longer handle juvenile cases. County Administrator Paul Drotty says he's still gathering information but says a call meeting will soon be held to address the issue. Jamie Hickox asked if Wayne County could withhold funding from the District Attorney's office due to the fact that DA's dropping the juvenile court. Trotty says that is definitely one option to look at. Once again, the DA telling all five counties in the circuit that his office is no longer handling juvenile court beginning the 1st of October. Local Republican Party has a meeting set for today. September 11th at the Altamont Steak and Seafood Restaurant. Guest speakers will be District 5 County Commissioner Candidate Randy Franks and Wayne County Deputy Kyle Bratt in that meeting at 12 noon today, and everyone is welcome. Speaking of elections, the general election is going to be held on Tuesday, November 5th. Last day to register to vote for the general election is Monday, October the 7th. To check your registration status, change your name or address, find your polling place, and view a sample ballot, that should visit the My Voter page. If you're not registered to vote, you can complete an online voter registration form with a valid Georgia driver's license, or you can download and complete the voter registration form and return it to the registrar's office. You can also fill out a voter registration card at the registrar's office in the Wayne County Courthouse. Advanced voting will begin on Tuesday, October 15th and go through Friday, November 1st from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Election and Registration Building at 306 East Pine Street. There will be two Saturday voting days on October 19th and October 26th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Please be sure to have your government-issued ID to vote at advanced voting. If you have any questions about the early voting or the voting process, simply call the registrar's office at 912-427-5950. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. 
Final notes of the news, the Anchor Junior Board at Wayne County High School and FCA is having an event this evening at Bill Morris Park from 6 to 8 p.m. This event is open to all middle and high school students, and they'll have free food, live music, and speakers. The state will give their testimonials, and that's taking place tonight at Bill Morris Park from 6 to 8 p.m. Wayne County Chamber of Commerce hosting its quarterly membership breakfast this Thursday morning from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. at the Polytech Center at Coastal Pines Technical College. Topic and apprenticeship program. They state if you need skilled workers, Apprenticeships could be your solution. Develop a workforce tailored to your needs. Boost productivity and increase retention. Invest your future. Apprenticeship apprenticeships work. Once again, this event Thursday morning, September the 12th at Coastal Pines Technical College. Cost for chamber members $30, non-members $40, but everyone is invited. If you need more information, contact the chamber at 912-427-2028. Wayne County Historical Society meets Thursday evening at Captain Joe's Seafood Restaurant. Program for the evening will be presented by local author and historian Derby Waters, who will present interesting facts from his newly published Wayne County History book. Books will be available for purchase at the meeting at the Cost of $25. Meeting begins at 7 p.m. Dutch Street Meal proceeds the meeting at 545. Guests are welcome and members are encouraged to attend. And Wayne Memorial Hospital is providing that blood drive this Thursday, September 11th from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Again, the Blood Connection Supplemental Blood Provider for Wimore Hospital is holding the blood drive. Drive is a makeup drive for the one that was scheduled when Tropical Storm Debbie came through Jessup. All donors receive a $40 gift card from the Blood Connection. Blood Mobile will be located Thursday on the right side of the main parking lot near the cafeteria. To make an appointment to donate blood, log on to the Blood Mobile bloodconnection.org type in Jessup or the sponsor code 7980 appointments are encouraged but walk-ins will be welcome this Thursday once again the time Thursday from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Wayne Memorial Hospital and that'll do it for latest in local news sports comes your way in a few minutes Bob Morgan send a great day